today I am working on a slice of fake cake. Um, so I thought I'd just video it while I was doing it um, and then I can show everybody else. Um, so here I've cut some triangles of um, polystyrene um, and I just drew myself a template um, and cut out and I've cut out three. And the next thing I'm going to do is cover these what will be the cut slices of the slice, <laughs> the cut edges, I should say, of the slice, um, with some lightweight polyfiller, spackle if in the US, um, that I've coloured with some acrylic paint. And all I'm doing is randomly wiping it over the sides with my spoon. It's a, a bit too close. Let me see if I can raise it up a bit. And then I've got a very old, partially hardened paintbrush. And I'm just using that to kind of spread it around, give it some texture so it's a bit like sponge and just spread it over the edges a little bit so that um, when it's glued together you definitely don't see any bits of white polystyrene sticking through. I have a tendency to put on a load more than I need because I'm doing it with that spoon but it doesn't really matter. It just means your cake will be a bit chunkier. So I'll turn it over. do the same thing <laughs> over there and I sort of keep any of the loose little bits of polystyrene in there because it's part of the texture and I will do this to I've cut three I don't know if I said that or not, so I'm going to do that with all three pieces of my polystyrene and then leave that to dry. I have tried this process with um, like thick kitchen sponges, but the sponges don't dry um, in an even shape. so. I'm having a go with the polystyrene instead and I'm hoping that might give me a better effect. Right, hello, I'm back and I have complete, these have completely dried. Um, but just before they were completely dry, I took a toothpick and I sort of stuck it into the filler randomly to create these sort of air bubbly bits in a sponge keg. And I'm just popping them very quickly now, it's very early in the morning before my house gets very noisy again. Let's do the next step with you. Um, let turn this down because over on this side I have a little blob of darker brownie gold paint and a small stencil brush. Um, and I'm just going to use that to color, darken the edges at the top and bottom of here. Um, as if, you know, it's browner on the edges, basically. And I almost think this works better the more it, the more you've used the brush because it sort of sinks into the brush and there's less. So I mean, at the top it's a little more um, less defined. Down here it's more kind of go back and try and shift it a bit. But you get the idea. Obviously, you don't have to do this step. I just think it helps to give it a bit of breadth of colour and depth. It makes it look a bit more realistic, hopefully. So we'll do that <clears throat> with all the pieces and then we'll be back for the next step. Right, so now we're ready to fill and assemble our cake slice. I have some um, pink 
filler here. It's obviously been coloured again with paint. Um, and we're just going to do what you would do with an ordinary cake, which is to spread your filling, icing, frosting, whatever you want to call it, um, across here. I'm going to stick these the piece together and let it dry before trying to ice the top and the back edge. Otherwise it will probably start to slide around and be very difficult to handle. So um, I always, what I struggle with here is trying to get these layers of filling the same depth on both pieces. And I thought, well, do you know what? If this was real cake, when I make real cake, the layers of icing aren't all um, the same height. I do my, again, like I'm doing here, I do my best to get them as similar as possible, but they're definitely not, not perfect. So I also would like to be able to use what I've made to be able to do the back and sides as well. Therefore, I don't want to use too much here, otherwise I'll run out. So when you think you've got about the right amount, she says, moving off the camera, <clears throat> keep adding extra in this corner, it doesn't seem to be enough. You can sandwich on your next. We'll just see which ones. I think I might use this one next. Squeeze it down a bit and then can't pick it up. If you need to, you can run along and take any off, off any excess, but again. In a real cake, you get a bit of icing oozing. <clears throat> I'm just trying to get a bit more in this gap without getting it all over the place. And obviously you can just wipe it off a bit. And then we need to repeat that on here. So we can add the top bit. Also, the great thing about having used polystyrene as the base is that this cake slice is very, very light. <clears throat> so I'm wondering about making them as like hanging decorations, something twig tree um, in summery versions, or you could make a, a Christmas cake version maybe and hang them from your Christmas tree. That would be a fun idea. Let me try and work out which one I want as the top. I'm just already getting this all over my hands. But let me 
videos and you can just use your fingers if you don't mind. But you can see it's already starting to slide around and slide. Um, so yeah, just make sure your pieces are lined up where you want them and leave those, that filler to set before we do the top and the back. Right, so this has had enough time to set, but it's not wiggling around. I apologise for the background noise. Um, I'm just going to crack on anyway, and I'm going to add the icing to the top and the sides. So, try and that bit of mix up. And give that a spread. Um, and here you probably want to think about what kind of finish do you want. I'm just going to go for a fairly kind of, someone's use a knife and spread their icing over the top of the cake. Um, but obviously you could do texture. Uh, what else? <laughs> Anything you can think of basically, but obviously I can't think right now. Um, I'm going to turn on my edges, make it look like they've been sliced. And I'm going to do a dive back here. I've done with a spoon here, I think. i try and get the spatula or a wider spatula because I can't scrape it all down to the bottom very easily. But we'll get there. Ugh, I keep sticking my hand in that paint. I'm doing well, aren't I? <laughs> and then we're just going to do this back here. And I'm just going to get it covered and then decide what direction I want my kind of spread mark to be. obviously tape all this um, but I just can't be bothered with that it's too much faff um, and I'm like it'll be fine it's not you know in, in some ways the more and even it looks the more realistic it looks I think maybe you disagree um, but yeah so going to run my finger there. That's my side's not too bad. And then just think about that top edge there. And then just see if there are any have a feeling. I can't do this with one hand. That bit could do with a bit more there. Camera, am I? I don't know. <laughs> I'm going to try and tidy it up how I want it to be. There seems to be more. could spend hours doing this I'm really not going to but I just want to be happy enough with the finished result because then I will need to let this dry for 24 hours before I can come back and do some piping um, hopefully that's fairly self-explanatory um, and I will come back when it's set Right, so we have our cake slice done here and next I am going to do the piping for the icing. Um, I'm going to just do this in white um, because everything else is pink so it's a nice contrast. 
Um, so again, I've just got some filler, but in a piping bag with a nozzle. I'm just going to do some nice little blobs here on this top edge. And then probably the same down along the bottom. See the blobs on the top a bit bigger. I can't reach it. Okay, I'm back. I've just gone over these, this um, oh. top section again to give it a bit more depth. I found the toy that was missing. <laughs> and now I've just got a little bit left. I'm going to do a swirl with the cherry um, on the slice. I think I'm going to turn this round. And mm, I hate it at the end of the bag because it doesn't go where you think it's going to. And then I have fake cherry that I'm just going to pop in the middle there. I'm a bit annoyed by that bit, but I guess icing is is like that. Um, and then I will let that try so i couldn't decide if i wanted to do this final step or not um i was thinking about adding a chocolate drip with my slick paint i think i might just be brave and have a go because what's the worst that can happen i just don't like it um so i'm going to do this from up here i'm going to be careful of the Hmm, my stalk is going to get in the way. I trust my paint to run out at that point. There. More there. There we go. A bit of a chocolate drizzle on my cake slice. 